Well, thought I'd do something a little different and take a look at the uh, development of uh, elementary OS uh, beta. I believe it's beta or beta one. And this is obviously the login screen, light DM, I think. So your password and logged in. And uh, I'm using a VMware player because uh, VirtualBox, it just seems really tough to navigate even with the uh, guest editions. So if I go to full screen, not completely full screen, it seems to be okay. And uh, if I try to do a control enter, yeah, it goes a little strange on me. But it does kind of work. And I, you can set up your hot corners. And so I'll go back to non full screen. <laughs> um, obviously, I've done some messing around. Um, I removed a lot of things, which is good, as I was able to do that. Um, obviously, I put files into the dock. I downloaded the, a video of mine and uh, installed uh, Audacity. And by all accounts, once it asks the opens, um, I am able to drag and drop this into Audacity and just uh, edit the audio if I wanted to. Now, what I did too was I upgraded the kernel, which was great too. I was able to do that. And uh, virtual VMware player didn't seem to uh, complain. So uname dash r uh, I, I just upgraded uh, one three point one four dash one from and that's in the uh, mainline PPA from Ubuntu so PPA mainline for example right here and this one here smart and I chose the AMD 64 generic uh, the all headers uh, generic image and I think that's it. Three or four. So I, I'm not sure if I deleted the downloads or not. Yeah, three files here. And kind of nice they have a nice uh, icon for the Debian or Debian or whatever you want to call it. The thing I found interesting is if I close uh, the file manager and open it again, it will reopen to where I was. So if I hit the close here, I was able to install the uh, tweak tool, which is. Uh, goes to system settings under tweaks and you know you can adjust your appearance uh, the fonts and animations if you want them on or off or duration shadows miscellaneous I turn that off audio bell plank if you want uh, this thing down here the la uh, quick launcher uh, files not much to really do there uh, slingshot terminal Terminal, I changed the opacity and the theme just for something to do. Now, I'm not sure if it, this tweaks is all in one. Like, it, maybe it affects other uh, aspects. Uh, so, we go to security and privacy. I turn this uh, gathering statistics right off. Locking. Um, I found this interesting. If you have this selected, it doesn't, I believe it doesn't turn off the display. Firewall. You have to unlock. I I don't think there's one installed. There maybe there is. I don't know. Um, basic stuff that has now is online accounts uh, and your Bluetooth stuff, administration, and about. What's about? Does that work? It sure does. And that's kind of neat. Check for updates. Um, one thing I couldn't do is uh, text entry settings. It brings that up. But if you right click on it nothing happens so you just left click single click and then single click again it brings that up but I can't remove this that I know of maybe there is uh, workspaces behavior layout options um, key sequence to kill the, the server so basically to log out you can similar to gnome tweak tool uh, control all backspace to log out. Uh, I removed uh, the email client just to just to see if I could. That's all. Uh, the video player is kind of neat, I guess. Uh, I installed Audacity uh, music player. Uh, 
no other way to choose. Okay. I removed Scratch. I don't like anything fancy text header, so Leafpad is fine for me. Again, that's great. Startup, not much there. Um, there's, I imagine there's a advanced startup setting, but again, that's reminiscent reminiscent of Tweak Tools. Uh, displays are just in VMware unknown display. I go back to Files. If I press Control L, it doesn't seem to do anything, so I have to highlight the whole thing and go to uh, USR something. Tab works nice. Share and start typing applications. Press the tab and it brings you right to there. And I've installed the Ubuntu Tweak Tool. That worked great, uh, especially if you're clearing out the old kernels and uh, stuff from Software Center. Uh, GNOME System Monitor. So uh, out of the box, like I said, I removed a bunch of applications uh, that may a calendar I, I stuff that I wouldn't use normally I wish they would uh, update the kernel though on the final release to at least one 3.14 at least that um, hopefully they will a little more customization in uh, the file manager so it's basically you know it's a Ubuntu based obviously and uh, so you would uh, use apt get in the terminal uh, I made some aliases um, which I usually do in my if I install Ubuntu systems. For example, sudo apt get update is just update, upgrade, install, zins, and so on, as you can see here. I install locale purge, uh, which seems to work well, so you have to run that as administrator. So when it installs a new program, you can set it up so it'll remove the languages that you specified uh, not to include. It's a little different than it behaves in uh, Arch Linux, per se. So um, I think that covers most of what I've thought so far. Uh, I, like, I do like it, and I don't think it's horrible. You have to give it a break because it is currently in development, and I don't know when it's going to be released. They say when, whenever. It could be a month from now or whatever. So get out of full screen. And uh, I also installed Synapse, which I find nice for finding stuff. And uh, you can restart from here. It takes longer for some reason. It'll shut down, log out. So I think that should cover it. I didn't want to spend too much time on this because it is beta. And uh, there isn't much to say. But I like the fact that you can customize what's installed and upgrading the kernel wasn't that difficult and hopefully some of the things that i think are a little strange will be worked out or make more sense to me but um that should do it i think for this one and any any questions or comments feel free to add them and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon and bye for now